What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Grant Smith and today I'm going to be doing a little tuning of my RX-5 here. I recently just put a new rest on it. It is the Hoyt Ultra Rest. It's basically just a QAD. I was having some problems with my other rest, the Smackdown Pro. So we got the new rest and I wanted to show you guys how I kind of tune my bow. So step one is I always paper tune it. So if I have already shot this on paper, I'm shooting pretty well. And then I got my 20 pin my 20 yard pin sighted in. So next thing I'm gonna do is do what's called a line tune. So as you can see here, I have my string tied to a nail. All right, and it's not touching the target. And I got just a, um, you know, like a plumb line set up here. And then I just have a button cap in the middle of it. So what I'm gonna be doing with line tuning is just verify, verifying that my paper tune is correct. Um, and gonna make sure that my sight and the rest are basically lined up correctly. I'm gonna be doing this by shooting at different distances, moving back. So I'm gonna shoot at that blue spot at 20, 30, 40, uh, just for today's video. And uh, hopefully all arrows are right in line with that line. Now, the first thing is if you're doing this, I'm doing this on a terrible day. So it is windy as can be out here. I don't know how well in the video you guys can see the trees moving, but first thing I would say is do not do this in the wind. So this is not to be done in the wind. You want to do this on a calm day where you can get good shots broken off, good executed release. This is as bad as it gets for doing this, but I got to get this done. So I'm going to try to wait for breaks in between the wind to get good shots off. So that's what we're going to try to do. We'll see how it goes here. All right, guys, so I moved the target here uh, just because the other one was so hard to see in the sun. And I'm going to try to shoot in between the wind, but we are at 20 yards right now. So we're going to see aim at the blue uh, little button cap nail that I got up there at 20 yards. So let's see if we can get a shot off between the wind. Okay, just to hear right, let's uh, move back to 30. All right, so here we are guys, move back to 30, and it doesn't have to be like exact yard. I'm gonna still use my 20 pin. I'm still using my 20 yard pin at 30 yards. Um, and we're just gonna wait for the wind to die down here. I'm not gonna sit here and bore you guys to death. I'll fast forward in the video, but. 20 yard pin at 30 yards now. We want this same spot on the line as the first year. All right, second shot. All right, guys, so we are at 40 yards now, so this is gonna be my third arrow, and the wind has died down, so I'm gonna try to get this shot off. All right, let's go take a look. All right, so as you guys can see, this target wasn't exactly squared up. But uh, first arrow right here, just a hair right. So you can see it from the line. Second arrow just touching it. And the third one just left of it. So what's that showing me is, what that is showing me is I need to move my rest just a hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna reshoot here. Um, and hopefully I got all arrows touching the line. That's the goal. All right, so I am taking off now. Uh, the wind just would not die down. Ended up getting a good practice in, but I'm not even gonna move that site right now. Uh, just because the wind's so bad, I should be doing this in more of a controlled wind uh, or environment, uh, just on a nicer day. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see in the video, but that wind is about 18 to 20 miles an hour. So definitely gonna affect the arrow, even at closer distances. Um, so a couple quick things before I get off here. 
Uh, when it comes to line tuning, I don't think you should only line tune your bow. Uh, so what I do is, uh, like coming up, I'm gonna be having a new string here probably within the next week or so. Once I get that new string on the RX-5, um, what I will then do is uh, bare shaft tune with my new arrows, uh, paper tuning, and then the last thing I will do is line tune it. So you don't have to go through all that. I just kind of go through the extreme because I will be shooting that bow in tournaments this year. But if you're just a guy who's out there uh, just bow hunting, trying to make sure everything's good, line tuning is perfectly fine. But I definitely like to at least shoot on paper too. Uh, where line tuning can really benefit you is like in the field. So if you're out on a hunting trip out west, um, and you your your rest gets bumped or something moves and you need to try to quickly get it in tune you can pretty much line tune anywhere as long as you get a target uh, you can improvise string piece of tape um, don't always necessarily have to have the plumb line there but um, line tuning will help you get a quick tune on that, on that bow even in the field so uh, thanks for watching today's video guys hit that like and subscribe button for me comment down below how you guys like to tune your bows uh, and uh, again, I got more content coming all summer. Turkey season's right around the corner. We got more shooting videos coming up, um, shoot off videos, and then we will roll right into deer season. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.